so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Wavinya I am not a pastor I am not a servant of God but I like talking about um, spirituality and today we are talking about dreams and one of the dreams that God has finally revealed what it means and because I have been having this dream for over so long for, for decades eh? Uh, dreaming about eating. I don't know whether you've ever dreamt about eating. I've had so many dreams about eating, but the worst is when I eat meat. Eh? I don't know whether you have ever had a dream eating meat, either someone giving you meat or you are in a, in a, in a place where there are so many people, it looks like a function, and you are eating meat. I don't know what you do when you have such a dream. I've just been praying about it and wondering what it means. And finally, I think God is revealing something that I need to pray about. I want us to read the book of Leviticus before I tell you what it means. Leviticus 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Numbers 23, 23, again it says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What has God wrought? Again Exodus 2, 24, And God heard their groan, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Um, in those places where we have read the Bible in those chapters, eh, it is talking about God defending um, Israel and Jacob. And it talks about covenant and blood and flesh is part of things that are used in covenants. Yeah. And so when you are eating, blood, um, eating meat, eh, and usually most of the time I hate it so much because I find myself eating meat that is fresh, raw meat, raw red meat. And it, when you wake up, when I wake up, I feel like real. I feel like it has been real that I've taken actually meat, raw meat. And I feel so yuck. I feel nauseated. I feel funny. I, I don't feel good. So what does these dreams mean? <clears throat> This, uh, uh, when you dream uh, eating red meat, it means witchcraft manipulation. That is one meaning. So it means that someone is attacking you using witchcraft and sorcery. Yeah? The dream is organized by the enemy to initiate a cage around your world to cage you spiritually. There is a strong covenant that the enemy is bringing on board and is dragging you into that covenant to bind you. Yeah? When you see yourself eating red meat, it means that your destiny has been stolen. The enemy is stealing your destiny. There's something you have been praying for. God has answered it and the enemy is stealing that, that answer to the prayer that you have been waiting for. Yeah, it means that you have been bewitched and you are in trouble. Meat is one of the most powerful attacks in a dream because it signifies a covenant. I don't know what covenant you are, you, you are getting yourself into. Yeah, maybe it is through a soul tie. You are getting yourself into a relationship and you are getting involved with a person emotionally without knowing the enemy is dragging yourself into the life of that person. Yeah, and you are getting yourself into a covenant. The, all the covenants that this person has, who is you are getting involved with. If you are a man, this woman you are getting involved with uh, 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 in a like a, a relationship, a girlfriend, or a close friend, a business partner. Yeah, if you are a woman and you are getting involved in a relationship with a man, or you are getting into a business, uh, yeah, relationship with a man, yeah. You get into a covenant and you get into all the covenants. You partake of all the covenants that this person has had in their life. 
if they are into occultism, if they are into Illuminati, if they are into dark uh, spiritual world, into their, if they are into sorcery and witchcraft, yeah, if they have blood governance with people and with the, with the enemy, you become a partaker of those governments, yeah? So, there is a great problem, even when you dream buying meat, yeah? You're going to a butchery and you are buying meat and they are cutting it into pieces and you can see it is raw, it is very fresh, blood is even oozing out of that uh, meat. It, it, that is dangerous. The meat is, not, is just nothing but it is meant to kill your spirit, to harm you spiritually. Yeah? People who are practicing sexual immorality. Yeah? Indecent dressing, blood governance. Yeah? Bad foundations, spending blood money. The money you are, you, you are being involved with uh, in that business. Maybe it could be blood money. Maybe somebody sacrificed someone to get that money. Someone may be killed, yeah, to get that money. So you are getting yourself into partaking into that covenant. So it is upon you to pray. It is upon you to break those covenants. It is upon you, yeah, to start bre breaking those covenants. Secrets and symptoms of red meat in a dream. Secrets and symptoms, yeah. Or sh things that show you what will happen to you. And what starts uh, uh, manifesting inside of you or in your life when you have those dreams. These are the symptoms that start to show. Yeah? You get into constant conflicts and afflictions in your marriage, in your relationship, in your work, in your business. You are always in a conflict with your employer, with your employees, with your colleagues, you start having pro and, uh, uh, conflicts in your marriage, conflicts with your children, conflict with your partner, with your, your, your spouse. You start having the, uh, no ability to fulfill your destiny. You, you, you are always waiting for something to happen and it never gets there. Yeah, Your, your dreams are getting aborted. Your plans are getting aborted. They never get established. Eh? That is a symptom. That is uh, something to show you that you are actually under the effects of the, the dreams. Yeah? You, you start dreaming about death or actually death start, starts to show up in your life. Someone dies. Someone close to you dies. Your father dies. Your mother dies. Your brother, your sister, your cousin, your spouse, your child. Someone dies in your life. Something. These are the manifestations that start to come into your life when you have those kind of dreams. You are dreaming always eating meat. Eh? Either in a function, in a hotel, someone brings the meat to you, you can't even recognize their face. Yeah? You start engaging into perversions. Yeah? You are, you are always doing things over and over again and never getting a result. For example, you are always applying for a job, applying and applying and never getting a, a response. Or you are getting into an interview after interview and never getting that job. Or you are getting failure after failure in your business dealings. You are never getting a deal. Maybe you are in sales business. You are never closing that, that sale. You are in real estate. You are never selling that plot. You are always showing people, t taking people to site visits and never selling it. Yeah. You want to do some business, you want to travel, you want to get a, in, a visa, you know, to, to somewhere where you've been looking forward to traveling. You're always doing the interview over and over again and you're ne never getting there. You, you start getting bad luck and rejection. Bad luck and rejection everywhere you are going, yeah? You, you want to, to travel, uh, you know, the, the, the car gets a flat tire, uh, you, you are in the middle of a, you know, a flight, you are traveling and th they keep on changing the flight timings and you are being frustrated and everything seems not to be working, yeah? You are waking up sweating, fr frightened 
and you are always living in fear even when you start praying you, you start experiencing goosebumps and you don't know what you are fearing and you start experiencing fear all of a sudden you can't even sleep alone in a house or in your bedroom you want to share the bedroom with the children or with someone else yeah there is failure at the age of breakthrough yeah you you have been waiting for this contract for so long to sign it and all of a sudden you are meeting the client tomorrow and they are not showing up there, there is failure there is failure you are, you had planned to get married and on the eve of the of you, you know visiting your parents the guy pulls off uh, out of the deal or, or the partner is not interested anymore yeah things start making not making sense yeah you 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 your life starts you know turning around you are always experiencing shame and disgrace yeah you you are always being slandered and talked about and people are sh tr trolling you everywhere on social media everywhere you start experiencing shame even in your marriage even with your children you get to, to fail if you are in school you are not passing well your exams you're not excelling you are not selling you are not performing at your place of work you are not getting the the kind of job or the kind of money is the kind of cash flow you used to get before yeah you start getting shame you start experiencing sickness and uh, and infirmities yeah you start getting sickly and sickly you, you start from you know experiencing headache yeah insomnia yeah you 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 get uh, you know stomach problems and you you start experiencing sicknesses that you can't even explain and body pains and fevers and all kinds of flus yeah you get you start getting sick yeah you if you've been expecting a child you start miscarriages you know or you start having high blood pressure you know issues related to pregnancy and you can't explain what is happening yeah so there are so many symptoms there are so many effects there are so many things that you start to experience when you 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 start seeing such kind of dreams so the best thing to do the solution i don't know whether you are filled of the spirit but god told me pray in tongues pray in tongues when you wake up pray in tongues to confuse the enemy pray in tongues so much like you can take 30 minutes praying in tongues alternating pray a little in non language but pray a lot in tongues eh? rebuke that spirit rebuke that covenant the, you know denounce the covenant take yourself out of that covenant break the covenant destroy the source of that uh, uh, meat and detach yourself from the soul ties D detach yourself from every covenant you are getting into and start searching as you pray in tongues start searching uh, the relationships you are getting yourself into the people you are dealing with start praying you, uh, uh, over them start praying and detaching yourself from those dealings from that relationship from that person start to tell god to reveal what kind of covenant you are getting into so that you break it and you break loose from it pray a lot in tongues pray in tongues god i don't know why god told me to pray in tongues but that is what god has been telling me to do pray in tongues and he tells me in that dream pray in tongues and before i wake up i'm praying in tongues and i continue to do it and i pray a lot and if you wake up don't keep quiet move from your bed if if you are you are you are sleeping with someone else move from that bed go to the sitting room go to some other place pray alone pray in tongues uh, plead the blood of jesus the blood of jesus nullifies every covenant the blood of jesus breaks every covenant plead the blood of jesus plead the blood of jesus even as you pray in tongues plead the blood of jesus plead the blood of jesus to break every covenant and god will see you through so my brothers my sisters that's it